Welcome everyone, uh, Karma Loop TV, Staple Design. We're in the house right now. We're in New York City. We're at Staple headquarters. This is my office. We blessed you a couple months back on a food tour where we went to New Jersey. Yeah, we, we, New we Jersey. visited some dope burger spots. Great spots. And we're coming back to you. We're entering summer. You know, weather's getting a little warmer. Beaches and barbecue. So we're gonna take you on a barbecue tour. Let's do it. Yeah. But, you know, before, you know, we're in New York City. What is it about New Yorkers that, you know, we feel like we have to try to excel and like have our like little fingers in everything? You know what? New York is known for restaurants. Yeah. New York is known for food. Yeah. Why not? Right, right. Right? I also think that because just by virtue of New York being a melting pot, there's going to be transplants here from the real meccas of barbecue, Texas, Nashville, Memphis, Kansas City, mm. that come here and they're like, you know what, let's try to import that flavor into, into Manhattan and, and Brooklyn. What are you? Are you a rib guy? Are you pork shoulder, brisket? What is your thing? I am pork, baby back ribs. All day. Okay. I'm good. not a big beef fan. Okay. I could do it. Well, this is going to be a good test then because I haven't had pork in 20 years now. What? So I'm, I am all brisket and beef rib guy. Mm -hmm. So you could do the, the swine test and I'll do the beef. Fine. Yeah. Hand me all the swine. <laughs> Thank you. Swine. So there's Hill Country. Let's head over there. So the way it works here, it's a little bit like dim sum style. Mm -hmm. You've got your stations here, meat over here. You've got vegetable sides over here, and then desserts and drinks over here. And then when you go to each station, you tell them what you want, you give them your card, okay? And then they put, they mark it up and put stickers on it. If you lose your card, I think you have to buy everything on the card. Okay. So <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, so here's your, menu options of choices over there. I'm doing the moist brisket, that's my thing. I like the, the fatty. You want pork spare ribs. I already know I'm in. Okay. Yeah. Is it true that everything here comes from uh, Texas? Get stuff from Texas. Oh yeah? yeah? Like the wood and everything? Yeah. What type of wood do you use? Uh, okay. So the table always gives you Hill Country barbecue sauce, Texas Pete hot sauce, salt and pepper mix. That's all you need. But you're getting vinegar. Thank you. Thank you. This is a very important ingredient. Okay. To School. a side. Collard greens, you take your cornbread. What the fuck? Crumble it over top. You take a little bit of vinegar. I can't eat collard greens any other way but like And then this. you're gonna put hot sauce on it? Yeah, hot sauce on top. Oh my god. Give me your honest opinion as well. Thoughts? Wow. Thoughts? That's dope. That's a fucking bomb. <laughs> Alright, you digested yesterday well? Yeah. Alright, yeah. good. We're in Midtown right now, but we're heading to Brooklyn. Let's go. We're about to hit up our second barbecue spot, which is called Fet Sal. And you'll see that it's kind of like down low spot that you might miss. Let's do it. No bikes, no pets. So here they got the black Angus beef, beef brisket. Do they have a pulled pork sandwich? They probably have that. So the brisket here, definitely less fatty than at Hill Country. See, it's all about that burnt chard bit that cancer causing bit. That's the best part. So sauce for sauce, which one did you like better? I think this one, because it might be more ketchup based. And I like ketchup based sauces. Okay. So how did it compare to the sauce in Hill Country? Hill Country sauce was bomb, right? It, childhood memories came up. Yeah. I almost cried, I held back a couple of tears. <laughs> I know right now my stomach is saying, why are we doing barbecue again? <laughs> <laughs> one more to go, buddy. Barbecue yeah, tour, day three. We're back in Brooklyn, New York. And this place is called Brisket Town. This is actually the newest of all the places that we've tried. Okay. You might hate this place. Why? No sauce policy. No! No sauce policy. I'm done. Good luck, Jeff. <laughs> 
Is this it? Yeah. All right, ready? I'm ready. New experience for you. And... Now, is it true that you have a no sauce policy? We made pickles and onions in place of sauce. Because like, I think that the same flavor profile comes from that. You have like sweet and acid, which is usually what people want. But it's also, I think, a tradition in the style of barbecue, which is like central region of Texas. Uh -huh. They never did it. They don't okay. do sauce. Okay. So. So this is their thing. They put the pickle on it, and that's their equivalent of the sauce. He's right. It adds the kick, but without like slathering it and masking the taste of the beef. And it doesn't need sauce at all. I don't miss the sauce at all. We just took you on a three-location barbecue tour. Recaps, thoughts, analysis, post-game analysis. Number one choice by far would be Hill Country. A number two. Brisket Town. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna even say third. Yeah. I'm saying honorable mention, Fat Pig. Fat Sal. <laughs> so if you're in New York City, definitely check out these three spots. We out, check out Staple Design, Staple Pigeon on KarmaLoop.com. New collection, we've been wearing it the entire time. The entire time. Peace, guys. Mom, I still love your collard greens though, okay? <laughs> you're the best, love you. <laughs>